This week on Strange Suspicion. Okay guys, this next one's called Clown Angel. I believe we are directly under the stage. Slurp, old boy. You're right, boss. I can hear that racket a mile away. Keep digging, you worm. I'm going as fast as I can. I can see the light, boss. Me too. Whoa! You! I thought I smelled garbage. Nice singing voice, Bobby. Ha ha ha! Sarcasm. Burn. Do, do, do. What in the world? We bring you this breaking news out of Anywhere USA. And I'm having trouble reading this. Bobby the raccoon has fell down a hole. And no word on his whereabouts. More at for 20. I'm Er Burnley. Oh no. What on earth are we gonna do now? Sorry, guys. The show's canceled. Please exit stage right. Have a pleasant evening, everyone. Oh, my head. You will pay for this, Bobby. When will you to foos learn? The Creeper Crime family will never win. Hey, Bobby, let's go. I am sorry those two scoundrels ruined your little concert. Sweeties, you're safe now at Granny's. Thanks, Granny. Those two are classic rock compared to the heavy we bring. Yeah, a bunch of poser creeps. Did someone say great? All right, hey guys. Um, I am sorry about the technical difficulties. We have no idea why that's happening. That was very cool though. I think Bob does really good intros. Thanks, babe. That was really, really awesome that what you put together right there. I don't know if any of you are picking up the Easter eggs with that, but if you are, it's hilarious. Anyway, hey guys, welcome to Strange Suspicion. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy our content and our kind community. We believe in curiosity and not disrespect. So if you disagree with someone, please be more curious in the way that you are responding to them than disrespectful. Otherwise, we're going to have to give you the boot because we do not uh, tolerate drama or disrespect on this channel. So um, hopefully, if you enjoy the content, you will like the content and share the content with people who you think will enjoy our content. We did have a goal of 5K subs, and we are so close, guys. By the end of April, I'm hoping we can reach the 5K subs. Um, I'm not sure our exact number, but I think it's, it's getting pretty darn close because we got like something like 
K subs in the last uh, 28 days. But I wanted to give some um, shout outs. And the first shout out um, that I wanted to give out was obviously I wanted to give a shout out to our paid members. So um, I don't want my face so big on here, Bob. <laughs> Can you make me smaller? Um, so I'm going to shout out the Sus Gang. Our Sus Gang members are, let's see. I know a lot of you are in here. I just wanted to do the level by level. So our first, um, in, in case anybody didn't know, the first level of paid membership is pretty cheap. It's $2.99 a month, but it, it helps the channel become more regular, like meaning if we knew that we were making uh, enough of an income to cover our bills, then we would obviously just full-time do YouTube. But we wanted to thank you guys in the Sus Gang level, starting with Boots, who is going to be on panel today. Thank you so much for rejoining. I think you may have had a free membership and rejoined. So thank you so much for enjoying us so much that you came back. We got Happy Haggis. Thank you. Morgan, who is one of the winners of our giveaway that we did we will be sending that out finally um probably tomorrow which is friday otherwise saturday the painting that you won nevada uh nevada cops also we call her christy crystal jensen georgia freckles michelle baker carney effects um which i believe is cujo the clown i could be wrong but true crime cult robert um thank you for being a member yolo uc Miss Lily C, Cyborg Mama, 13th Hour, Lost, 40,000, Windchill, Mouse, Sophie, Roe, Cheryl, I think it's gorgeous like gorgeous. We went through this last time, I'm pretty sure. And then Little Devil. We also have the, um, we also have the Strange Syndicate level, which is $4.99 a month. Thank you all for being members of Strange Syndicate as well. So thank you to Glowy, Misconduct, Mrs. Jonesy, Kim Barner, Newman25, True Crime, Heather Fitzgerald, Beachy D, Miss Johnny Knapp, Tawny, Jeff H, Tracy Allen, uh, Dancing in the Rain, and Andy Mosier. Also, we have a, a very expensive level <laughs> on this channel, and it's called Insanely Suspicious. And we didn't think anybody was going to be a taker on that level, but we have had a paid member named Debbie Stinnett, allegedly, that's the name of the person. And thank you very, 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 very much for being a paid member on that level. I wanted to do um, also a shout out to another true crime channel. I wanted to shout out the Thought Riot podcast, and that is uh, Brendan and Malia, I believe. And I uh, caught their live last night when they were doing the, um, the uh it was a hearing for brian koberger if you want to call it that and um their their chat um they had uh a lot of professionalism i felt um bob are you with me yeah i'm here yeah, I'm here. yeah when when we went over there they were they were so professional like brendan was like no nope, we're not going to pay attention to that and it shows that that's that's how it's supposed to be because it shows in their sub count they have an incredible sub count Right, like I, yeah, I must there, have missed something because the was last a lot time of trolls, I checked, was, you know, there was a lot of trolls in there last night. Um, yeah, yeah, they and they were rude. Really well. Thank you, Tani, for gifting a strange suspicion membership. They keep it really professional, and I, that's what I like about them. And I like how they, I don't know, they're just cool. Like, like. I could probably watch them for three hours like we did yesterday. I mean, come on. Yeah, I had to go to, we had to go to bed. <laughs> we were exhausted, but like, um, not from you guys or anything, just from our day. But like, we, we really, really appreciated the way that you run your stream. If you're, if you're able to hear this someday, I know you're probably doing your own stream right now, but we did really enjoy watching your stream. It was very much, um, exactly, like, exactly the way that, like, I like to watch when I'm watching two people on the same stream. I like them to be able to like fluidly have a conversation. You know what I mean? And they play off each other very well. I mean, it, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't look rehearsed or anything. I mean, I'm not. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. It looks pretty natural. Like, and I, I love that natural. Like, I don't know how to say the. I don't know the saying for it, but you know what I'm saying, right? Right, babe. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. I also wanted to give a shout out to uh, one of our members. Her name is, well, we'll just give the screen name, 13th Hour. 
she was in the ICU and I don't know. Are you still in the ICU? Can you say it in the chat? I just am like, oh my goodness. She, she had a, a very serious infection in her lungs and she was just, um, incredibly there you are there you are so she is in the icu she's incredibly strong incredibly incredibly strong um yeah so wow i can't believe like bob she's watching us from the icu so shout out to 13th hour um yeah, shout out to you. to you i hope you feel better right yeah we were we were very worried i don't know like it seemed like a week that you were in the hospital i don't know if it's been a week yet or maybe even a few days longer, but I was very, very worried, but she says that she's on the mend and she'll be feeling great real soon. So let's give her all some well wishes guys in the chat. She's right in the chat. Okay, so, okay. I also want to shout out a few people that have emailed me and told me that they were in Idaho. Um, shout out to you guys. I know you're out there. I mean, there's 50 states in the country, so, you know, I I understand that some of you probably live in Idaho. I know a few true crime creators actually live in Idaho, not us, but there are some true crime people that are actually in Idaho and started their channels about the time that this happened, which is a little weird, but I'm not going to talk about that. Um, it's probably not a good idea. But, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, Tani. Um, where is that where Tani asked me that? Tani said, talk about the mask. Okay, so as you can see, it's a, I'm just like a picture on the screen, right guys? So uh, my face, even though I was in, or maybe because I was in the haunt industry for 13 years, um, let me know in the chat if you knew that about me, if you knew that I was in the haunt industry, like I was acting, managing, I did scenic design, I did um, pageants, I was like, um, it, like, like, entered in pageants i didn't win any but i was entered in pageants in the haunted house industry I did a lot of things in the haunted house industry so like 23 states worth of acting i don't know who's looking at my haunted house stuff or if you've been to our other channel we have another channel called shaken paranormal if you like um paranormal and randonautica and stuff of that nature we do that here but we also do it on our second channel which is shaken paranormal and we had that channel for about, I think, maybe a year and a half now. What, what would you say, Bob, yeah, about a year yeah, and a half? Like last February, maybe. maybe. Yeah, something like that. And um, we, we've been like to a lot of places. And Bob and I, like, we were always looking for suggestions of places to go. And like myself, I, at the beginning of this channel, Bob didn't get to come with me that time. Um, I, I think you were busy. I don't know what was going on or you had to be somewhere. But we, we actually went there. Um, to Helltown, Ohio, to do a paranormal investigation, which is on our paranormal playlist on this channel. And um, I just happened to be in the same area of where a friend of mine who was in the haunt industry, who acted as well, um, who I had acted with on several occasions in Cleveland, Ohio, he, he was buried like kind of not really close to Helltown, but on the way. So we like, uh, my friend Tim and I, who, acted at this haunted house called Bloodview Haunted House, um, went to go visit Laz. So we made it like a two, like a double feature. And those are both on our channel. But Bob and I have done most of our investigations together. Bob is a very, very skilled and talented uh, psychic medium. Is it, Bob, how you would describe it? Bob? Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. I, I'm, I'm, are you doing more... something right now? I'm more clairvoyant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not like um see Bob is Bob might be better and maybe you guys in the chat are better at knowing like the difference between a psychic and a medium and a clairvoyant and a, like I don't really know that stuff. You know, I just I know that Bob and I we do have the second channel and it is shaken paranormal. I don't know, Tani, if you have um the link available or if one of our mods has the link available for our second channel. But if you do like paranormal investigations or rando nautica or abandoned, um, I, I don't know. Is there another way you would describe that, Bob? Our second channel? 
I don't know. We kind of do whatever. It's more paranormal driven. I want to get into doing. I want to do like visiting some graves, some famous graves. I'd like to do more of that. But yeah, we do live not too far from like lots it's pretty of areas hard to get out there right now because it's like it is spring and people are a lot of people are out there and looking at things right now. So, but there is more coming. Right. Yeah, of course. Right. And there's like, we have, we have a lot of things that um, we have covered and a lot of things we haven't covered like on both channels, such as like Ouija boards. And we did like overnight camping. We did like um, a whole campground. We had access to a whole campground because the friend of ours, it's been in their family for like a hundred years. So we got the whole campground for a weekend and we got like all access to it. And our friend uh, Luke was very, very, uh, I would say, um, well communicated with, right, Bob? He was yeah, he, uh, possessed, he, he, I he might dare show, to say. I, I think he became possessed. He pretty much, he pretty much toyed with toyed spirits, spirits and found out that they're, they're, real, they're real, I believe. So. Right. Right. Some people like just so you guys know, if you're interested in in doing paranormal stuff on your own or doing paranormal stuff with us, 13th hour, like like already has suggested she would like us to come to Oklahoma. We are not that we have no issue with that. Like we have gone places with um, another subscriber. We mentioned that before Andrew Mosier, we showed you the um, second time that we went to what was that called with the witch? Seven. Seven, Seven Gables, Gables Road. Seven Gables. Seven Gables. Seven Gables Road. Yeah, we went there because it was a content suggestion with um, Andrew Mosier because Andrew um, suggested we go there. So we were like, yeah, why not check it out? It was a urban legend. Don't dive. Thank you for the new membership. I'm going to put that up there. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, Seven Gables. Seven Gables Road is like a – it's like an old um, – urban legend about a witch that was burned at the stake and then one of the people that actually burned her at the stake uh went crazy and hung all his children from the gables of his seven gables of his home or whatever and we went down there and man there was a lot of communication like a lot we had a lot of results there and I, but i just want to say like on that note um i'm not i'm not trying to rush you or anything bob but um so, so if you guys caught the beginning cartoon I just want to know what you guys thought of the beginning cartoon. Do you like that, um, Robbie Raccoon and all that to, stuff? I, I was thinking maybe we could put that on merch. What do I you think? I could try playing that again. I mean, I think it where might. it's got stuck. Yeah. Are you guys interested in seeing the full version of that? We're gonna try it because Bob didn't get to show the whole thing. At least let the. And if you missed our intro and you're here, like I see AR is in here. I'm not sure if he's still in here, but I saw he came in after something new we've been doing. So if you're in here, AR, check this out. We've been doing this for a few episodes. Oh, did it freeze up again? I don't know if he's still here or not. Okay. Is it still freezing? No. No. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, okay. I'm going to try, try it. Okay. Okay, guys. This next one's called Clown Angel. I believe we are directly under the stage. Slurp, oh boy. You're right, boss. I can hear that racket a mile away. Keep digging, you worm. I'm going as fast as I can. I can see the light, boss. Me too. Whoa. You? I thought I smelled garbage. Nice singing voice, Bobby. Ha ha ha. Sarcasm. Do, do, do. What in the world? We bring you this breaking news out of Anywhere USA. And I'm having trouble reading this. Bobby the raccoon has fell down a hole and no word on his whereabouts. More at for 20. I'm Herb Burnley. Oh no. What on earth are we gonna do now? 
Sorry, guys. The show's canceled. Please exit stage right. Have a pleasant evening, everyone. Oh, my head. You will pay for this, Bobby. When will you two fools learn? The Creeper Crime family will never win. Hey, Bobby, let's go. I am sorry those two scoundrels ruined your little concert. Sweeties, you're safe now at Granny's. Thanks, Granny. Those two are classic rock compared to the heavy we bring. Yeah, a bunch of poser creeps. Did someone say creeps? Oh, giggles. <laughs> You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Order in the court! Nice. It looks like a lot of you have favorite um, characters. Says Jane loves Granny, because Jane, you just became one. That's pretty ironic, <laughs> right? That's pretty cool. Yeah, Granny, and looks Granny. like what's that? I said, yeah, I love Granny. Yeah. I also love Giggles. He's 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 great. Yeah, Giggles is really cute, right? <laughs> like I like what I liked that you did about Giggles was when you like when the we did the one where he found the whatever locket or whatever it was, you know what I mean? Oh, the, the heart diamond, yeah. Yeah, the heart diamond. And um, he had the, it looked like he had flowers in his hand or broccoli, but it was actually like a tree and he was like rubbing it on his face. Yeah. I thought that was super clever. <laughs> so but I see 13th hour said she's totally baby Pia. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, then there's Bobby Raccoon, right? But I wanted to thank Don't Dive because that was very nice of you to send $10. Um, yeah. So um, I will get to the other thing I wanted to discuss, which is um, we are having an issue with my makeup, guys. It is very, very bad for my skin. And so we were thinking, what is the most clever way to solve this problem? Like, I can try makeup after makeup after makeup. Like I told you guys, I acted in... 23 states in this country. I've had so many makeup artists use so many different kinds of makeup on, makeup on me. I have done my own makeup hundreds and thousands of times. I'm not even exaggerating. I've done so much makeup and this face is just done. Like there isn't even like any way I can, I don't know how to like accentuate it any more than the fact that I am, I am actively trying to get a mask. And because Bob and I don't make that much money on YouTube. We were trying to like think of ways that we could like raise the money. And Tani, who is one of our mods, suggested that we just say, you know, like at the beginning of the stream, we're trying to raise this money for the mask. And right, time for a mask, Pia. That's right, Jane. Because not only does a mask, um, it's a consistent look, meaning I don't have to like try to get it right every single time because it's right. I'll just put it on my face. I know the quality companies so basically guys just to put it out there the mask that i'm looking for is with shipping it's 200 dollars. i can get it in a few days i'm trying to raise 200 dollars. if you have a few dollars to throw at us there's the cash app there's the venmo um don't dive did send a super sticker so i'm going to add this to it but um we did already get um two donations for this guys so out of the two hundred dollars that we were looking for i'll put it on the screen here um just one second so tani recently like right right by um maybe an hour before the stream started she sent us fifty dollars on the cash app and our first donation was by cyborg mama who gave us $10. Her, 
from Venmo. So, and now Carrie just sent us a $20 super sticker. So now, now, now you guys are making me do math and that makes me, makes it a little more difficult. So let's say $50 from Tani, $10 from Cyborg Mama, $10 from Don't Dive. So let's do this 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 right there. So we already got 90. We need 110, right? I'm like, oh my God, look at you guys. But see, if that it's, that's the kind of support we have in this, um, community that I think is amazing and and just like I mean I don't want to ask you guys for money because it's not about money do you know what I mean you know what I mean yeah true crime cult said um try theater makeup yeah um I don't know I, I don't know if you're not familiar with the haunted house industry but I did act in it for 13 years Robert and I did um use a lot of different kinds of makeup there's a lot of different bases of makeup um there's like the water-based there's the grease paint there's the stuff they use with the airbrush there's um a lot of latex has been on my face a lot a lot of latex i have done more makeup than masks i've been um models for thank you both for providing us a place to yes you're welcome um so i've been i've been to a lot of haunted houses i've used a lot of styles of things on my face and it's just i think basically maybe i'm an old lady and my face is like stop doing this to me i have no idea but the mask is it's going to be what it's going to be so until i am able to make the money on my own or until i'm able to um is this the same one are we getting spammed again Did you just do that twice, Don't Dive? Oh my goodness. That's probably a yeah. Sorry. Am I echoing? Yeah. And then Tani did it. Okay. Okay. You guys. Oh my gosh. Y'all are getting hit. You're getting hit. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not, no, I'm trying to do math here. So, wow. Um, so, we're definitely halfway. We're definitely halfway. Yeah. Um, if, if you guys um, have Cash App or Venmo and you're interested in donating, then... Um, that's the information today though um just so you guys know we wanted to talk about um certain things and we're going to talk about um gosh you guys are amazing um wow okay yeah they're there right here on the top so da dancing in the rain twenty dollars thank you don't dive ten dollars and tawny ten dollars okay and see this is weird <laughs> what what's what? weird what's weird Everything on my end is like, it's weird. It's like, it's like doubling. I don't know. Let's see. Um, yes, it is rolling in 13th hour. So, wow. It's so distracting. So distracting. So <laughs> that's okay. It's okay, guys. Do what you're going to do. But um, some people prefer to do Cash App, Venmo, um, whatever you, whatever you're comfortable with. Look at there's Robbie Rac Bobby Raccoon. But um, so we were going to discuss some missing people today. And some people wanted to come on panel and that's awesome. But first, I believe, Bob, um, did you want to start with Brian Koberger or did you just want to um, take a minute to honor the passing of that creator? Or should we do that later or? Yeah, I wanted to, I was going to find a little video of him if I could and then just play it real quick just to. Yeah, no problem. Does anybody know who um, Shoestring Hobo is? It's a it's a YouTube creator, so you know what I mean. Yes, thirteenth hour. Do you know who that is? No. Okay. Um. Okay. So Bob and I watch a lot of different creators on YouTube, and among the ones that Bob watches, kind of on his own, that I don't really watch. Um. He watched somebody called Shoestring Hobo, and I'm not sure what his real name is but he definitely has a name so i think it's jason i think it's jason oh okay check cash out. sorry it, sorry it, i'll just throw this up here i'm just putting quick. on the screen yeah okay. sorry i'm computer yeah bob's trying to get some stuff together um behind the scenes so okay here we go right this is him I think so. I think so. Shoestring hobo guys. I'm just just watch this. Yeah, well, I made it down to camp. Just started snowing this winter storm. Izzy. 
but you basically I'm pretty plenty uh warm hot trains around the southern and warmer midwest waiting on my train to northbound i'm trying to land myself in a bunch of snow that'll make the video more interesting anyway but yeah that appointment for your january 11th i had they called the day before and changed it to january 14th so i go in on the 14th and they said, yeah, definitely, you're going to need to see a colorectal surgeon. So next week, sometime, they're going to call, uh, the surgeon is going to call and set me up uh, a date for the surgery. So I just wanted to let everybody know that that's finally moving on pretty good now uh, trying out my new backpack it ain't snowed much just trying to keep my water from freezing it looks like they painted over all the old tags but I did a new one there looks like they missed some But anyway, yeah, look at all this home bomb garbage. Can't even walk straight. Yeah, the mid train will be about here. They'll crew change up a half mile. And then the train will be about mid train here. And the end of the train will be down near Spruce. Well, it wasn't so darn windy either. Yeah, that's fresh paint over everything now. Yeah, straight up yard, yard office, a half mile. So my train will come in from that way. Boy, I hope I get me a good dry boxcar or a DPU. So can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to say he passed okay, he away passed about away six, days six days ago. Days ago. Um, um, they found his, they body, found his body, body in a lake. In a lake. I think it was called it was Boone, Boone Lake. lake. Here, let me find this real quick. Yeah. His, yeah, his a fisherman his discovered his body. His body and Boone Lake last Friday. Um, the investigation is ongoing. They don't know why he died. Um, he had over 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube. But it's pretty sad. I mean, it could be foul play. Uh, so I'll keep looking into this more, but uh, he had a really good YouTube. I really liked his channel. He was a very gentle dude. He um, he picked up after himself. I mean, he was very cleanly when he traveled. The, the, the way he looked at the world was pretty awesome. Do you remember uh, when that one video we watched of him singing that country song? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was pretty pretty heart-wrenching. But, he, yeah, so... Yeah, he just seemed like a sweet old man, like like everybody's grandpa or like everybody's neighbor. You know what I mean? Like that other guy, um, oh, what was his name? Nosy neighbor on that other one you do. Thank you, Boots, for the $2. Yeah, for see from, see yeah that camping with Steve. Steve. Camping with Steve, yeah. Camping yeah, his, with Steve is another buddy, channel yeah, Bob he, likes. His buddy, uh, yeah, the neighbor. Nosy yeah. neighbor. Yeah. Yeah, Bob, I think Bob, like, you've watched, like, a lot of channels that are, like, camping and, like, nature and, like, the, um, what do you call it that one guy does? He does the metal, um, what do you call those things? Metal detecting? Yeah, yeah. metal detecting, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, all over on my YouTube. That I, I used to have a metal detector, and I used to metal detect a little bit, but I kind of got out of it. 
but it was fun. And I just kind of like followed that on YouTube and camping with Steve. If people aren't familiar with him. He, he kind of camped in like camps and really like crazy places where you wouldn't normally camp. He does like stealth camping is what it's called. He basically hides when he camps. The, one of the videos, one of the videos I'd saw a dog he, outside next door. Yeah. Uh, one of the dogs I had saw, or one of the dogs, one of the videos I saw, he was uh, sleeping in a roundabout, like, you know, the circle roundabouts. And oh, had, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had, like, a bunch of pine trees and stuff where you couldn't really see in there, and he, like, stayed in there. It was pretty cool. But he also does this thing. He, he takes a beer out there, and he calls it step two, and after he sets up his stealth camp, he cracks a beer, and I don't know. He's, he's, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Yeah, and that that guy lost his wife too, right? Yeah, it, that happened. I uh, believe last two summers ago, maybe two summers ago. That was pretty sad too. But um, yeah, it is. It is very sad, right? Yeah. Like when when I don't know. I I don't know. Everybody was asking in the chat though. Like, was it hypothermia or did he get hit by a train or what? He did you not mean? get hit by a train. He was found in a lake, and like the. From what I read online, there isn't much. I haven't done a whole lot of investigating on it. When I heard it, at, like the first time I heard it about it, he was missing. He wasn't. He wasn't alive. He was missing. Um, right. Yeah. So, and everybody was trying to find him. Yeah. Lots of YouTubers were. But I mean, I, I'll look more into it because I am. I am interested in that, and I just have been busy, you know. But. Right. Yeah, because it does take a lot of time to do. So I just had a little announcement to make because it was in the, the private chat here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Tani gave us another fifty dollars, which is a total of one hundred dollars from Tani. She sent it in the cash app. Tani, quit. so uh, now I'm confused at what we got. We got enough, I think. <laughs> She did. She get, I was like, what? No way. She's like, yes, I did. So, wow. Okay, so we are at least halfway there, guys. I think we probably have $50 if I'm doing it. Yeah, I could probably order it right now. Let me see. Oh, come on. Let me see. Let me see. All right. So, first thing is First on, let's get this going. Um, so you guys, it's like a dog walking time in our neighborhood right now. If you hear like a combination of different barking, there's a little one out there and a big one right behind where Bob is in our other room. You can hear the neighbor pretty well from where he is. And then there's tiny little dogs. So hopefully you don't hear all of that noise. Um, we were going to speak about probably the Brian Koberger, um, yeah. Hearing, right? Yeah, I wanted to talk about my favorite part. Okay, and if anybody is interested in talking about that with us, there is a link right here in the chat. Anybody is allowed. Go ahead, Bob. What were you going to say? Oh, I thought it was awesome how Bill was so mad, you know? Like, like rewatching that last night, like he was, <laughs> he objected right before they played the video. So he knew that video was coming up. He didn't want the public to see that, you know, where he's like, Hey, get at me. I got all the good information. Come on guys, come and get it. But, uh, yeah. It, yeah. I felt like there was a lot of like weird banter going on. Right. Yeah. There definitely was. He, <laughs> Look at the backstage, Bob. Look, <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> oh, you guys. Tani's backstage and she's just got like <laughs> she's got her eyeball like right up on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Santa did not have his shit together. You're right, thirteenth hour. Bill Thompson was uh oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
you little sexy bitches. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You fucking little hoes. <laughs> okay, I've got my. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Oh my yeah. god, that was hilarious. Yeah, that's Tani, you guys. That's that's our mod. That's our girl. Oh. Hey. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I have to mute for a second. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I think and you think there could be a mistrial or something, right? That this case is like just all over the place with these things. I don't know, man. Yeah, I felt like remember he was like, he's like, well, you told this in the survey, and everybody was saying like he already told everybody because they showed it. They showed it on that PowerPoint. They showed him like saying everything. He said that they leaked in a press conference, and he said something like, remember, he was like. As soon as we have our information, we'll have it for you guys to post and read. Yeah. And, and, and report anybody, on or whatever he said. Yep. yep. Yeah. He, he, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, because I then he was mean, busted. Right. I think, I think they, they, he was they, trying to discredit, discredit that, that, you know, guy big time, uh, Brian Elderman, like, like big time. And he seemed really professional. The cases he was, he was, uh, uh had worked on or he had worked under i can't remember the guy's name he'd worked under a guy learned training from a guy that had been on some big time cases doing surveys he also yeah i had noticed he had said in his um testimony or whatever that was he said that he pretty much was in wrote a book with this this guy i'm speaking of but i can't think of his name um they, it was the Bible, pretty much, for the survey, is what, he, is what he was quoted as saying. So, like, I don't know. It seemed like it was just like a, let me just credit this guy as much as I can. And then, like, I thought it was hilarious how they just, they popped that video up with him. And he's just, I don't know, man, it was really good. I, I can't wait for, like, the full trial because if, he, if it happens, it happens. But, but. I don't know, man. It was it was pretty entertaining. I remember that. It had me on the edge of my seat like a dang game or something. You know what I mean? And I was like, right, yeah. And it was just weird. Like the um, wasn't it weird that like like the judge was? It was almost like he was taking instructions. Do you know what I mean? And like like Boots said, she said she loved hearing her say, "I love in my I believe in my client's innocence." Like well, when she touched his shoulder. When Ann yeah. Taylor said, I yeah. believe in my client's innocence and she's not yeah. going to like betray that. Like, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. that was beautiful. It really was because that's saying a lot. And the fact that they don't want us to, to pay attention to some survey that was questions that Bill Thompson, he might, I don't know if he has dementia and he doesn't remember saying that, but he sure got a great reminder yesterday. Like Ann Taylor wasn't playing around yesterday. And neither was that Brian um, Edelman and neither was, Brian Koberger, I saw him whip his head over a few times, didn't you? I saw it. Yeah. yeah. The other thing I kind of took from that, too, was they were saying, like, the two questions are uh, false, which would have been the stalking and something else. Now, the something else is where what I didn't really put together. Would it have been him following them on their social, social media, media or that he drove a car of that model i don't know yeah there's there's something else there that's they're saying that's not false but and that was the other thing you know like i don't know man it's pretty messy but like they were trying to just dis, dis, like discredit the survey thing and make it look like like it was something bad you know what i mean and yeah exactly and i thought when when we originally watched it remember i was like uh okay like right before we did this survey says video and and you're doing all the ding 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 parts like i thought i heard all of that stuff the only thing i thought i hadn't heard was that the city uh the people who lived in the city of moscow and the students at the university were living in fear until they caught somebody 
Like maybe they wanted to say that was false. Yeah, maybe that but was false. But I'm how sure can they say if that's true or false? I right? don't. Yeah, exactly. I think people are probably still in fear living there. I would be to a degree. You know what I mean? Like, like. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I'm just trying to see what our our people are saying because uh, nobody's coming up to talk about Brian Koberger. We do have a few other things we want to talk about too, so don't be shy if you want to talk about Brian Koberger or what you noticed about the, um, I guess that was called a hearing yesterday, right? <laughs> I'm I not sure what too. I, you would I think call that though, you know? I think it's funny, like I could have swore, and I know you probably think it's annoying that I keep talking about it, but I could have swore he said blue cheese at the one, the end of the one. Yeah. And then he said ranch at the end of the other one. But maybe I'm just hearing stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'm No, not. no, because I would think, you know, like he gets, he, he probably gets a lot of crap about his vegan diet. And I don't think you should get crap about that because Bob and I are vegetarians, in case you guys didn't know. Um, but uh, maybe it's a nice perk that he gets to meet with his lawyer afterwards and she, you know, puts Perhaps. Panera on her company dime or something and to say, what kind of salad do you want? And <laughs> right before they separate and she goes and picks it up quick and he's waiting for her to get back or whatever. He tells her, yeah, I want ranch. But technically, blue though, cheese. Blue, blue cheese isn't vegan. So maybe he... Oh, it's not? No. Oh, because of the milk. Right? Yeah. Well, I think blue cheese might be made with goat. Or something i don't know but maybe he said something cheese like fake cheese I, you know how we get I, fake yeah, cheese was, and we get fake so meat weird, like i was trying to figure it out like it was weird but we anyway, got any I'll, vegans I'll, in the chat i'll move on no no i'm curious now are there any vegans in the chat don't see anything that's a big no okay Blue cheese equals stinky feet cheese. Yes, Christy. Yes. I've also you know heard I like that. I like feta. I've also heard that feta and goat is, is basically mold. And like if you eat it before you go to bed, like a lot of it, you'll like have bad dreams. Feta? No, blue cheese. Blue cheese? Whoa. Like because it has it's so like, old. Yeah, because it has like the it's almost like a mold. I don't know. I know it's gross. Ugh. I don't. Like a fromage. <laughs> Ooh, feta, right, Cheryl? Yes, I love feta cheese. Mm, I love it. And yeah, so I don't know. I, I I noticed a lot of things. I noticed how confident that other guy, Brian Edelman, is that it? Yeah, yeah. He, when he came in, he was like, "Yep, yep, yep." And I noticed how careful Ann Taylor was in the way that she, um was wording everything she was saying and the way she questioned him and it wasn't so casual like they were buddy buddy it was just more professional and informative and how bill thompson was like oh i don't like how this i don't like how that and he's like well i noticed too do you notice when he says he says well your honor did this because of this and in the words of your honor and because your honor said like as if he's trying to convince judge judge hey you did that that was your choice before like he's kind of like almost like Right. Like trying to influence him into believing that something that he thinks should be done was something that Judge John Judge may have forgotten or not forgotten of said or allegedly said and not said. Yeah. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Because there's he, so many hearings. He's trying to like remind him or be like, you, well, you said this or, but to suggest it. I, yeah. The other thing I noticed too was th this is. I know it's kind of just like random, but um, in the last two hearings, um, he basically said, I'm trying to be this guy in the middle and you're pulling me this way and you're pulling me that way. And he said it to Anne twice. Like he's got to explain to her, like she's causing this big problem. And the way I saw it on the end of that, he's basically going to make them rewrite those questions. And right. Yeah. So. Well, they sh I mean, but the thing is, they've already revealed all this information already. Like, yeah. it's like they don't want like I don't want people to know this and I don't want people to know this, but I'm going to keep repeating it in the hearing that we're like we said that, too, about how they're doing this and they're like. They're they're televising everything that they probably shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah. Everything they're talking about is stuff they don't want people to know about. And that was another thing that um, uh, Brian Elderman said was uh, that the open end questions of have you heard of what have you heard of this case? Have you read, or, heard, or yeah, dang the, that's an open end question to where like most people won't answer correctly. They won't. They'll be like, yeah, I heard of it, and they won't like get like state like, yes, I heard this exact fact of of yes, he was stalking them, and that's that's what he was saying is like these questions put don't put like it in their brain, but it, like it basically. Like it's a yes or no type question. Yes, I heard of that. No, I didn't. And he also explained that in the in the call survey that if they didn't answer one way, like if they're like, yes, I didn't hear, like it would automatically go to another question, which was the open end question, basically. So, and the other thing was too, it's like, I think the judge brought it up. He was like, most people don't answer their phones. They see a number that they don't know. They won't answer it. <laughs> so like, like i don't know they were all over yeah, and cheryl was saying sorry no, cheryl no. was saying um he wasn't stalking them i believe that yeah definitely not i have an echo apparently it might be because he's next to a window there's like sometimes you'll hear a dog two or or three or five dogs he's next to a window we're like having a it's like a busy time of day in our neighborhood What is this say? Am I still out going? I'm not sure. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Jane said she's loving your slight echo that it's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, it always does that. I don't know what the problem is with this stinking stream yard. Yeah, we're going to switch off here, guys. We're going to probably do um, Streamlabs. I don't know if that makes any difference about anything, but I'm going to tell you that Streamyards, if you guys ever, if you guys are creators, or if you ever consider being creators, it'd probably be smart not to do Streamyard. It's really crazy. You can get hacked very super easily, and it's not very easy to navigate and put things together. It should be super easy to, like, just grab a link and put, like, the link into the video and the, the volume should be ma matched up just like the way everything else is matched up, but it's not, you know, everything yeah. is like, Hey, like try our streaming network and then buy all your own equipment. So that's what we were going to probably have to do, but we're going to go to Streamlabs because it's probably a lot better than this from what I've seen. And then once we do that, I think you can still do, um, still do panels i don't know if you guys prefer since i mean there's not a lot of you in here but a lot of you in here are always in here so do you guys like panel stuff better or do you like um call in better call in i think is a little risky because of the fact that people call and they say things like when we were watching thought riot podcast last night there's somebody saying something in chat and they're just like spelling it one letter at a time super childish you know Hey, Heather. Yeah. Heather was in there, actually, last night. I was just saying, Heather, how professional Thought Riot podcast was when they had all those um, trolls in there last night. They handled it really well. And just exactly the way that they said, I'm going to say to you guys, if there are trolls in the chat, please just report them or draw our attention to them, and they will be gone. We have great mods on this channel. We have... Tani, we have Cyborg Mama, we have 13th Hour, we have It's a Judy thing, we have Dill. I'm not sure where he is, he might still be at work, but he said he was going to come in here, so. Um, he told me he was rearranging a fender, putting some tires on a Ford or something like that, I don't know. I don't know what he does. That sounds dirty. <laughs> He's rearranging a fender. Okay, so we're going to do the going once, going twice, going three times to discuss Brian Koberger with us. And then if you don't say in the chat that you want to come up and discuss the hearing, then we're going to move on to the three missing people that we were going to cover in this chat. So I'm going to put the invite in the chat real quick.
And if people want to just like just type a question out, question. I, or something. Oh, yeah. If you guys want to type any questions in the chat too, yeah, go for it. And we'll put it on the screen and um, we'll answer it about whatever you want, actually. Because we won't put it on the screen if we don't want to answer it. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put this one on here. Yeah. Yeah. That is a rapper dang it w. No, this one he's a rapper yeah. With w yeah it looks like heather fitzgerald is just getting in here yeah that was a really really crazy um i have all the usernames there very old accounts oh of the trolls yeah you know interestingly enough heather i mean i'm not naming names here but i do now know that there are creators that have multiple names on these on YouTube. I'm not talking about one person in particular. I'm talking about multiple creators are doing this and it is like, yeah, you know, I guys, we just, we're just genuine. I'm just going to assure you we're genuine here with you that we have one channel for true crime that we also do a lot of other things. If you look at the channel description for this channel, strange suspicion, but we also have a second channel. We're upfront with you about that. That channel is called Shaken, with an E-N, Shaken Paranormal. And on that channel, we only do paranormal. We only do randonautica. We only, this like specific genre of that channel re revolves around the, um, the communication with spirits who have moved on. So this is a genuine statement. You will only see Bob and I on two channels. And that channel is Strange Suspicion and Shaken Paranormal. We don't yeah, have any... It's not with we don't have any people. junk accounts with fake names to go stalk people. You know, yeah, remember, we don't do have any going into that chat last night. And as soon as we were in there, someone with your name was in there. Oh, yeah. If you guys remember that happening, that happened like a few months ago where somebody came in a chat and they had the name strange underscore suspicion. Well, last night we went into thought riot, uh, thought riot podcast. Sorry, I don't want to say that wrong. Their channel. Um, Brandon and Malia, very, very good channel, by the way. I'm going to shout them out once again. Whoop, Probably shout them out multiple times. Yep, whoop, whoop, guys, you are amazing. You're great at what you do. But when we went in there, all of a sudden, this account that I had reported and that many of you had reported in the past, which was strange underscore suspicion, immediately, yeah, see, Heather's, she's already, she's in, right on top of it before I even said it. See, this is which, the name, guys. See which, the strange which, underscore suspicion. Immediately. Yeah. Should I, say, Should I say? Nah, never mind. I won't say. No, that. you go right ahead. This is our channel, and babe, you know what? I was in the military for eight years. Well, you we use your freedom of speech. Who, we know who created that account. Which one? The strange suspicion one? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say something else, so I, you just caught me off guard. No. I thought you were gonna mention the screen, the other screen name that always, always harasses me. Always. Oh, that. No, I don't even want to mention his name. Yeah, who created it? Jane said. I can't tell you right now. Well, it's 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 sketchy. It's sketchy. Yeah, <laughs> now everybody's yeah. like, "Who? Who? Come on!" Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure, like 20, 30 percent sure. Well, well, just as a side note, I wanted to add you guys that. I think it's really sad that the, that these creators that do things like this just to make like I guess the new guy feel bad like you know there was a creator that claims that we got all our subscribers from being on his show I won't even give you the dignity of saying your name dude rock and roll buddy but guess what we have way more than you and way way more subscribers than you right now and um, we have earned them through our own hard work and Bob's editing and my ability to create a community that is positive and not disrespectful and curious rather than disrespectful and they absolutely absolutely just wanted to let you guys know that there are a lot of people on youtube that you can't even imagine are doing more damage than good and to you people who are doing that please listen carefully to me very carefully if you're going to tell your subscribers that you have a dedication to true crime and helping victims then you need to stop 
being a troll right now and focus on true crime because i think it's fucking disgusting the way you guys are like overshadowing anything that has happened to a victim by insulting another creator trying to draw people away from their channels trying to do all these hurtful wicked ridiculous things trying to email us and telling us what to put on our shows who to watch let me just tell you we don't go watch a lot of channels because like last night i went into thought riot podcast and i know i was there for over three hours i was there over an hour before i even typed anything guys because i knew the minute as a creator the minute you go into somebody else's chat you're a target i could go in anybody's chat and be like hey how's it going guys and i don't like that because i don't want to take attention away like from any creator ever ever because i would i'd be pretty angry if they did it to me yeah and as far as like telling us what subject matter to cover that's up to our subscribers i know it sucks going in there and you see all the pe your people and we see our people and i see my i people. love seeing you guys i want to like say stuff in the chat and it sucks that you know when people are oh blah 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 but you know it comes with the territory right i mean like, right obviously people ain't got nothing to do but yeah it's okay it's okay Right. I mean, I, I wish I had all day to be on other people's lives. I wish, but like, not to, not to toot our horn and give, I mean, I'd rather give all the credit to you, babe, you know that, but like, well, I'm just like how I said before, when we were talking to somebody, um, about how, how much time YouTube takes, it's actually like when you guys are at work and you're working, we're like putting the videos together and then three times a week, spending hours and hours with you after we've worked the whole day that you've worked and then tried to promote all this you know, share all the stuff and promote the channel and try to trying to put money into it that like we promised ourselves that we were not going to put any of our money and we were going to let this channel self support itself. And it has done really well so far, I guess, um, as far as doing that, but not enough for us to be in everybody's chat or watching everybody's videos, we have to pay our bills. So we're trying to work on our own channel. Yeah, and it, was, it sucks when we go in and watch like people that we watch and we want to comment and we comment and we get harassed but you know it's it's whatever but but yeah like, like you said it, uh saying stuff in people's chat and then it's like you're kind of are taking away from them sometimes but it's okay it's right yeah yeah i think so i mean if if people want to come in here and people are saying hi to them that's that's great i mean i want whatever you guys want i mean we you know what i mean like i We've I say that and I mean it. In our chat. We've had one of my favorite YouTubers in our chat and I still am, you know, happy about that. We we had Captain Howdy come in our chat and say hello and that's pretty freaking amazing, I think. Oh yeah, we love his channel. So, um, <laughs> we love his channel. That, that kind of leads me into uh, the next thing I kind of wanted to talk about if you wanted to talk about that too. Uh, sure, what are we moving on to, babe? The Sebastian uh, Rogers. Okay, good. Yes. Sebastian Rogers. Um, you... And what I'm talking about to kind of make a segue is uh, the Captain Howdy's got a really good video. The last video I watched of him of his, he explained some things to me that I really, I, you know, I'm new to the Sebastian Rogers case. So I, I you know, I've, I'm, I've kind of read it. I know you, you know a little bit more than I do on the case. Um, Did you say his name wrong? No, no. Oh, it's, it's Sebastian, Rogers. Sebastian Rogers. Okay, okay. Is that that's the name, right? No, no, because Jane said Sebastian, so I was just oh. making sure. Um, but but really good video. I'll probably talk about it as we get into this a little bit further. But if you wanted to, I mean, just kind of talk about some stuff. That's I kind of wanted to move into this. Oh, you want me to segue while you're looking for the video? No, I'm not going to play the video. I just wanted to. Oh kind of talk about this he so he is from tennessee right right he's from tennessee and um his okay so he has um step parents and biological parents right and his biological father has i guess he's been out on um i believe his name is seth he's been on um one side of the fence where his um mother and stepfather where he was when he became missing right where he in the home that he was in when he became a missing child was the house of his mother and his stepfather am i i believe i i got that right yeah that, that, sounds, that sounds right 
I kind of okay. remember some of that. I, I honestly, I remember right in that he's autistic. That's right, Boots. Yep. I remember the story that his dad, I think it was his dad that I watched on the Captain Howdy video. And his dad stated that um, when he was seven or eight years old, he uh, was uh, in his mother's care and he something happened to him and nothing was ever taken oh, yeah. care of. No, yeah. no, uh, no consequence. Yeah, he didn't get no therapy. This 13 year old. And he, yeah, he didn't get therapy until five years later or something like that. So it was basically like, be quiet. Don't tell anybody that happened to you. Yeah, he was, I mean, that had to be weighing on him. But Right, well, and he was autistic. He probably had no idea how to process such a thing. He didn't know, like, what do I do now? Like, is that my friend? Is that not my friend? Because according to what it said, it was somebody who was, I think, living in the same house as him. And... um Maybe he, he trusted him and was a little bit um, naive, you know, in the way that they don't, uh, autistic people don't always um, catch on to social cues, you know, and maybe he didn't understand what the initiation, the initial like uh, physical touch meant or that it was even um, abnormal for somebody to touch you like that. You know what I mean? So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's probably very confused. Like if I tell on him, then he, then I don't have any real friends. And you know what I mean? Like, so he was put in a position where not only a young person might not understand where something is going on with them like that. And, and they feel guilt and they feel shame and they feel awful about things like that, that they didn't, first of all, don't want to tell anybody. And then second of all, they don't want to get that person in trouble because if they were naive to that person, that means they really cared for that person. They don't just, they don't pick up on social cues very well, autistic um, people, and they also don't attach very easily. And when they do, it's a strong attachment yeah, from yeah. what I know. Um, he was a gamer was a too, gamer right? Too, right? He played... Uh, right, I believe he liked... That's what the Captain Howdy said on his... Um, yeah. Is that he... Um, he liked to play Minecraft. And from what I think you told me, someone told me there's a Discord or some kind of thing on Minecraft where you can talk... To other people right yeah yeah i believe there's like some kind of chat on there i'm sure right right and i'm sure you there's restrictions that he probably should have been under but you know all you got to do on facebook is like change your date of birth i'm sure it's the same for instagram and all the other social media so yeah yeah i mean it's easy for anybody you, you saw the video of the two flashlights in the proximity of the backyard um, right. That was interesting too, because if that's, if that's uh what did they say? It's um unrelated. Like it well, seemed to me like the, like almost like, what do you call those lightsabers? They're like, like the lights like cross paths. They're like met up. You know what I mean? So yeah. even if it wasn't his flashlight, but one from what I understand, he, when he became missing, he did have a flashlight, right? The flashlight was missing and yeah, this kid left right. with no shoes on, right? Yeah, I don't believe, I don't believe that either. I don't think it was the uh, garbage truck. I don't think that I'll, I've heard a couple truck. other creators say that. I, I kind of don't think from what I saw, it did not look like a garbage truck. I mean, I don't really know the area, but I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, I think when it, when he became like missing, his dad stated that he, he didn't know if he was abducted or if he's just over at a friend's house. So I don't know if like initially there wasn't enough of a search and enough of a concern because maybe he's, you know, the kind of kid that plays games and he gets carried away and then he gets home and they're like, hey, you should have been home at nine o'clock and it's like 11 and he's like, sorry. <laughs> and then he goes to bed, you know what I mean? Because he's one of the gamers that kind of gets glued into the game for hours and hours and doesn't think about it. But yeah. I do know his dad said that he didn't know exactly what happened, like if he was at a friend's house or if he was abducted or if he wandered away or what was going on. But I know his dad is pretty like involved in this whole thing, like in the way that I mean, like he is hands on involved with the police. He's hands on trying to actively do something about this. And in yeah. and, and another and, and on the other hand, I know I understand that his stepfather, um, Proudfoot, I believe his last name is um or maybe that's his mom's but anyway he um i thought his name was chris proudfoot but they were 
camping, I, I guess. And I feel like if I had an autistic kid who was missing, the last thing I'd want is for any kid, any kid, if any kid of mine was missing, right, autistic or not, I want them to know where I was if they wandered back home. Right, like I, right. I can't imagine something happening to me or me finding my way home after all this time and thinking, like, where is my mom and my dad? Like, that's pretty are crazy. they lost too? Like he's, I, you know what I mean? Like that would just mess up his whole mind. I feel like, but they, they were saying that they, they decided to leave because they needed to like, I don't know. I, I know it wasn't to look for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> I know that, but boots on the screen. Uh, let's, let's uh, try to address them in the chat too. I don't want to yeah, go, go for it. I'm going I'm to take, um, take a break. I need a break. for No problem. Okay, so Boots, you said, does anyone else think it's a possibility that his dad or dad's family could have taken him someplace safe? Sebastian could have finally told his dad. Told him where he was, you mean? Right, Heather, that's what I'm saying. Like, what if he came back? I can't imagine... Him coming back like can you imagine that if you were through you went through this huge weird experience you know what i mean and you come home and you're like oh my god it's gonna be great i'm gonna walk through this door and you're gonna rush towards me you're gonna give me a big hug and i'm never ever gonna wander away again or i'm never gonna trust somebody i never met online before again or i'm never you know what i mean whatever the case is whatever happened to him he wanders back in and there's nobody there i don't know and Jane, Jane thinks he's gone. Um, I don't, I don't know. I feel like that age, he could be anywhere doing anything. I don't know how many of you have children. If you have children older than 15, please let me know in the chat. Okay. In my opinion, the only reason the mother would leave the state is because she either knows where he is or he know, or knows he's not coming back. Hmm. I did see, though, um, oh, man, I forgot his name. So a few years back, there was an autistic kid. I don't know if you guys remember this, but they found him um, shivering at a gas station. He was an autistic kid, and he was found like 700 miles away from his house. Unharmed, guys. Um, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, do you know who I'm talking about? I'll tell you his name. Hold on. Because I, I know I searched it last night because I was like, well, you know. Yeah, we were we were talking about that and you asked me. I didn't I forgot to look that up. I got it confused with another story where there was a kid who was missing and his mom. I don't know. He like they found him at a gas station. It was almost kind of like the same story. But the mom was like a, a piece of crap. and. I, I don't remember the full story. It was a couple of years ago, but yeah, this kid, um, his name is, I'll put it in the chat. If any of you guys want to look at that, make a note of this name, I guess. Um, I should have a T on it. His name was Connor Jack Oswalt. Let me do that better. I guess. I kind of wanted to touch on a point on the, in the captain Howdy videos. I don't want to play it, but he was yeah, talking about, how Sebastian Rogers could have been into urban exploring mm -hmm. because urban exploring, you know, on YouTube is a pretty big thing. Uh, oh yeah. We used to watch, uh, what's his name there? Uh, doing urban and the, the European guy. Yeah. That goes on the trains. You mean? Yeah. Him. Oh no. You're yeah, talking Spy about, uh, um, talking about someone else, but yeah, Spivey does that too. But, uh, his name's Spivey. You're talking about hunting the dead. <laughs> no. No, I'm talking okay. <laughs> about. I'm talking about. Uh, what's his name? Dang it, Yasko. Yasko. Oh yeah, Yasko. But yeah. So there was this case. I believe it was in Indiana. Maybe not. I should have probably like looked this up before. I'm bad at that. I do this shit a lot. Obviously, I'm not very professional, but have fun. But there was a kid who was he was about the same age like 13 12 you know 15 or something and he was into urban exploring and uh i think it was like the morning before he went to school 
he climbed up his neighbor's like um tv antenna and he went into the uh chimney to like break into the house and he got caught and trapped and he oh yeah yeah he passed away and uh i think he they found him like a month or so later but he was missing forever and like literally the house was across the street from where he uh lived i don't know it was a pretty sad story but i really think uh the captain was on to something with you know the urban exploring maybe he met one of his friends on you know minecraft or something and they went out and he got hurt or trapped or lost you know what i mean like i mean but i never heard anybody touch is he in port clinton rick grimes is asking that i think so i think that was it oh yeah it was, yeah it was port clinton yeah it was yeah he ran away actually i just remember that when i said that i'm not yeah. sure I, I could be wrong but um yeah yeah that was a pretty sad story and he was on to something like with that story like he could have gotten lost he could have gotten trapped somewhere but uh, that's all i want to say about Dak. yeah i noticed that brian uh i'm sorry sebastian he did seem like um he kind of kept to himself like he's more like a gamer he was more like a like he chose his crowd he chose his people he didn't just like it, it seemed to me like he wasn't like a person that like had a like a large group of friends but he would have had like a very yeah. true group of friends like online you know I mean friends or that? something to that yeah like right. gamers like shy people he also, he also uh, the, i keep i keep saying his dang name i know i sound like a, i'm simping over here over captain howdy but he did say too that a, a lot of uh, autistic children and people are drawn to water yes they are they are which is, it's weird to me, because I told you that I grew up on an island, remember? And I'm like, I love staring at water. It relaxes me. So well, maybe I'm a little autistic. Who knows? I do, too. I must be, too. I love staring at, you know, out in the lake and the ocean and everything, man. So Yeah, just the waves. It's so calm. Like, I feel like if more people did that, if you guys sat out in the woods more and just let the sun hit your skin and let the wind hit your face and go through your hair, it would, man, it's just so therapeutic, right, Bob? It feels so good. Yeah, you hippie. And it's free. You know what I mean? That's the best. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this was the other thing I wanted to get onto, too. When we were watching T, I, I know you hate when I say other people on our lives, but we were it's watching, right. we were watching cool T-Rev. It. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's what you're going to do? What? what? What did you say? I said, remember, we were watching T-Rev, and... Um, there was like a story where they, the day he went dis disappeared, they saw some kid sitting out of like outside of a corner store or something like shoeless. Does that sound familiar to you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Speedway. Something like that. Yeah. And like, I don't know. That was a pretty crazy piece of information that I hadn't heard. Yet. Yeah, which is interesting because like how I just said that um, Connor Jack, I think his name is Connor Jack Oswalt. He was found 700 miles from his family, and he also had no shoes on. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's weird. That's weird. I think I was and just like um, one weird. of the people we will be talking about on the stream, probably, possibly, is Caleb Harris, who also didn't have any shoes on, correct? Yeah, yeah. that's what I've heard. So weird. And like, like he, was, he, was, he was a college student, right? He was 28 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, correct. And what, no, I don't know. I don't know if he's twenty eight. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's see. He's around that age, right? Maybe not that old. I thought he was younger than that. He might have let's been. See. He was a college student, so maybe he was a little younger than that. Oh yeah, that's the other thing we noticed about him that he was a college student, or maybe a former college student. Twenty one years old, it says. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he was a college student, and he could have been possibly um, harmed by another person, but I don't see any press conference with a bunch of college administrators there and i found that very interesting yeah, does anybody that find that interesting in chat <laughs> there's like a college student who may have had something bad happen but the, i guess we're just going to go right to that real quick then since we kind of segued over there that, um, that okay? 
<laughs> yeah, that's fine. Are you guys familiar with um, Caleb Harris? I'm sure he is. Was that the one from Florida they found his remains recently? They found his remains? No, uh, Caleb Harris was out of Texas. I believe. Oh, yeah, Cor Corpus Christi. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know what she's thinking of. Yeah, this kid's from Corpus Christi. I don't know if you could find a picture of him to throw up on the screen. Uh, but, um, yeah, Caleb Harris, he's from Corpus Christi. And um, the thing about him is he was very, like, I don't want to, I don't want to um, assume, but he came from a very uh, wealthy family, I, I would say. And he had been to a lot of different places in the world, like in different places around Texas. So if he wanted to say, catch a certain kind of fish, he would know the exact time of year that he would want to go to this exact location and fish for this exact fish. And his dad said that they, a lot of the time, went to a nearby island, I think. I yeah, didn't catch yeah. the name of it, but he said if he would, if he was gone fishing, he would have gone to the island. That's where he liked to go, and he would never go by himself. And I believe he was out walking a dog, which I find it just real weird how all these things are tying in together. Like how Kaylee and Maddie were outside walking a dog, and then all of a sudden something happened. This Caleb guy, he, I don't know if you guys know, but he he took a picture of like a um, what do you call that, babe? Like a, he, he, the uh, bridge. It was like a uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, like a, a reservoir, I guess. Bridge type deal. He was twenty one, Jane. She was asking how old he was. Yeah, he was twenty one, and he lived in these apartments, which were very close to the water. And um, oh, have a good nap. Thirteenth hour. You can text me later. She's one of the lucky ones. That has my number but um let's see yes jane he was an adult he's 21 he rented an apartment with um a few of his friends and the the strange thing too is that they said his phone last pinged at 259 or three o'clock and he sent a snapchat at 259 and the snapchat was a picture of this bridge but they said remember babe they said there he is they said he was missing from his apartment, though. Yeah, yeah. I think the story, the story was that. It's weird. First. Yeah, and then they changed it, maybe. But I don't know. The story was really weird. It was like, I remember the dad saying uh, something like, oh, yeah, they took a picture at 2 o'clock. Um, of the dog, he sent it to his sister. They ordered ooh, uh, some food. I don't know. He was asleep. But I don't know, man. Just is yeah. Weird. Does anybody in chat know anything about this Caleb Harris? That that would want to come on panel and tell us a little bit more about it. I I do know a lot of true crime people are, um, covering missing people i do know that i'm gonna give a shout out right now to um first of all cluminati i believe was looking is is was i'm not sure we've been very busy this week um but we did catch that cluminati was with her fiance like directly in their vehicle actively out there guys searching for somebody who's missing i believe it was sebastian rogers i think you would yeah. know heather yeah yeah it was it was Two missing women in Kansas still not found. Yeah, that's right. Um, but Cluminati, shout out to you if you ever see this or anybody who knows Cluminati directly, like Heather, tell her shout out to her. That is a very big thing that she's doing. If you guys also watch that channel, please send her your donations. It's not easy just to drive around and try to find somebody else's kid, you know, and take all that time up in your day. And I really, really, really admire people that do that. And speaking of that, I also saw um, Tani... You want to give me maybe, um, Tani, will you tell me who Rock Chalk was on the news? I don't know if you guys know who Rock Chalk is. She's a big supporter of our channel. Um, she was out on the news, I guess, in Kansas. Was it Kansas? And she... She's with another person. I didn't see who that was, but she's with another person and they're actively also looking for 
Um, yeah, right, Heather? I saw that. I, I didn't catch who they were looking for, though. I saw, like, a, it was like a tiny, tiny, tiny news clip I saw. Maybe, like, a minute. So oh, there, there were two missing two women. Missing That's women. all I know. I think they were moms. Oh, really? Not really. Yeah. Okay. Well, hmm. I'm just... The two women. Oh, 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 okay. The two Kansas City moms. Gotcha. Yeah, Cluminati is awesome. I agree with that. Um, if they're close, I would help for sure. Yeah, uh, that's the other thing. If you guys know anyone who has a family member who's missing or you have somebody in your town that you want us to spotlight, we have no problem doing that. We, we don't have any problem doing um, that as well as communicating with somebody who's passed on for a family. We do not only true crime, but we'll do like a lot of things and anything that we can use our platform for, we totally absolutely will to help any of you out. That's true too, Boots mentioned, we didn't say that, babe, that Caleb left his wallet, his keys, and went yeah. back out yeah. after he brought the dog in. Yeah, yeah. Like That's weird that he would bring the dog in and be like, Let me walk nah, this I don't need my keys, like... I don't need my wallet. It was, the whole thing is weird. And like we were talking too, like that little part where he walked, I had, I was wondering if like maybe the tide was down or like low and he maybe slipped not having shoes on or maybe hit his head and then the tide carried him out. I don't, I'm not familiar with the area. Out there. Yeah, Corpus Christi. I'm assuming that that drainage overfill was probably uh, tied like or something, you know what I mean? Like the tide would come in and fill that up or something, but I don't know. It just seems really strange that you can, you can, and that was the other thing too, is like, it's late at night there. I don't know Corpus Christi. It's probably a dangerous place, just like any other city. You're walking out at three in the morning, you know, that's the witching hour. <laughs> a lot of shit goes down, you know, late at night. And Man, I'm seeing so many things in the chat that are making me feel like it's false information not not you guys giving false information but do you see the similarities here guys do you see that okay um she's saying now that riley and sebastian had no shoes on but so did this caleb kid right and they're yeah, also yeah. saying that oh man this is so weird i'm trying to find what i was just Oh man, you guys, there's so many similarities. And then the dog's going out and then an Uber Eats was left on the porch. Nobody picked it up. Just like nobody picked up Xana's DoorDash at the door and it was still on the table or whatever. Like this is weird. Either this is all some weird coincidence or this is like a pattern of crime that nobody is putting noticing. Together. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like people go out with their dogs or leaving with the dogs. Kaylee and Maddie went to take the dog out or they got home and they went out with the dog quick. You know how we would do when Sleepy was still alive. We would be like, oh, time to walk the dog. She's been waiting the whole time. So I'm sure Murphy had to pee and I'm sure Caleb, if he was out, this dog needed to pee. I'm going to go kick. Ugh. I'm going to go kick the chair over so that dog will go inside its house next door. But anyway, oh, like you chose people have today. Oh, would you say? I said, oh, you chose violence today. Yeah, I, I can't stand it. It's, it's hard, you know, hearing a yeah, dog, it's hard. True. And all we got to do is make a loud noise and the dog next door goes in. So I don't know. Anyway, though, that is, it is so strange, isn't it, Heather? For real, I think it is weird that all of these details are exactly the same. And Nevada, I can tell you, I lived in one of those states where there was a alleged um smiley face murder or five and they it's real weird right these people falling into the water but i feel like the reason they think he didn't fall into the water is because he didn't have any plan to like go anywhere or do anything and he didn't usually go off alone like that but i feel like if he if he's like a super good guy right and he's walking this dog and somebody came up behind him and you know, like maybe it's three o'clock in the morning, you're walking your dog, nothing ever good happens after three o'clock in the morning, right? So somebody points a gun at your, yes, please. Somebody holds a gun at your back and you say, please just let me put the dog away. 
Just let me put the dog away. And Corpus Christi, I mean, it's not on the Mexican border, but you can be taken to the Mexican border really, really easily. And I'm, I'm not going to get, please, please don't. Because if you get political, you're going to have to be booted out of here. But um, <clears throat> Bob and I have proudly not dealt with any politics this whole time. And it's almost time for people who vote to go vote. And we're so excited to have gone through this whole election year with no reference on this channel. So please keep that going, guys. But he is in an area where people are not so far from the Mexican border. So bad guys who try to get across the border for bad reasons, just those kind of people, sometimes will come across the United States border and grab their quote-unquote gringo to try to, I don't know, get a ransom or to try to, I don't know, um, try to get a wallet from him. He left his wallet at home. You know what I mean? They weren't going to get anything from him, but that doesn't mean they knew that. It could have been... It could have been a illegal um, person coming across the border for drug reasons, and he oversaw. He he accidentally saw something he shouldn't have seen. It could be he fell in the water. It could be um, somebody on drugs trying to mug him. It could be he got hit by a car and they they freaked out and threw him in the the water. But it still doesn't explain why he had no shoes on and why he had no wallet and. You know what I mean? The dog was brought in, but he didn't come back in. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Do you know what I'm saying? Totally. Totally. I think he was taken by surprise. You know what I mean? He had to have been. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's a, it's one of them stories that just doesn't make sense. Especially with, like, you know, he was kind of a hunt a rugged fisher guy you know he looked like a a, a pretty good size you know man it looked like he could you know he wasn't like a wimp anyway it didn't look like not but it doesn't always matter size doesn't matter but man you're muted pia I said, I don't know who said they wanted to come on panel and talk about um, Caleb, but we do have a subscriber who wanted to come on panel, and her name is Boots. And Boots is amazing. So, Boots, if you see this link right here, um, do you have those links, by the way, Bob? Yeah, I'm going to try my best on getting those. I'm going to, I'll pop out while you guys talk and I'll try to. I'll get those all lined up. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just say a little bit real quick that um, I have here in front of me about Heidi. Um, if any of you are not familiar, there is a woman who's missing named Heidi Plank. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but her name is Heidi Plank. It's spelled P-L-A-N-C-K. And she she was, like, missing from, like, oh, there she is. There's Boots. Um, she's been missing for about two years. Just tell her and she's got to mute herself. Oh, you gotta unmute yourself. I don't. I don't think I can do it. I think she heard you say it. So okay. <laughs> yeah, probably. But okay. So there is a woman who's missing, and her name is Heidi Plank, and she was last seen going into her apartment building, but there's no video of her leaving. So the interesting thing about this woman is she. She's. I don't know if she was a single mom. Do you know Boots? I'm not sure, but um, she did, like, I, I believe she was, was she walking a dog? This will just kill me if she's walking a dog. Oh, do you have a video? Okay. Hi. Is that you, Bob, doing that? Okay. Yeah, that's me. That's the, that's one of the, that's yes, the missing. Yes, she was walking a dog. <laughs> what is going on with that? <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy like people need to really like i guess like ladies carry your paper pepper spray and men and always be aware of your surroundings because we have just seen so many examples right here today just talking about these crimes that like you could be out walking your dog and not thinking anything about it she's 39 years old that's not very old she's 5'3 120 pounds sounds very proportionate for her size so I, I don't think that she was like out of shape and not able to defend herself. I would think she would have 
fought somebody if they came and tried to harm her. Especially, you know, having a kid, it kind of makes you fight a little harder. But, I don't know. I'm seeing that she looks... That's the dog? So the dog was found, from what I understand. The dog was found... Is that what you said, Bob? Are you still here? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm still here. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. The dog was found in a, a high-rise uh, building that was not hers. And it was on the 20th floor, I believe, they found the dog. And that was one of the questions, like, how did the dog get up there? Where, like, where, where was the video of the dog going up there? Um, but, right, because she was at, like, her son's football game. And then I think that's the last time, like, anybody, like, publicly was seeing her alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then... Once, once I, I guess she she left out to, to walk the dog. Then the dog was found. So the dog was found in another place. Can you I wonder me? if she. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. I can hear you. I was I was wondering, like, do you think that maybe she was in the same place that that the dog was found? Um, that's what people are saying. Um, I believe personally, after two and a half years of researching this case, that. She was probably taken from that building. It was her dog. Yeah. It's really interesting that, like, I don't know. I know that they, they, okay, so when I was researching this, when you suggested this, I was like, okay, so I guess she was last seen on, on October 17th, 2021, and then they declared her, they, they didn't declare her, but they, they assumed her death on February 22nd of last year because she hasn't been found. But I don't yeah. think that somebody that's, I don't know. I feel like, where's the body then? You know what I mean? Like, you got to show me a body for me to believe somebody is exactly. actually gone or some kind of, like, place they could have been buried. So I think, like, do you think that she's maybe a victim of human trafficking and brought to another place? Very possible. Very possible. Very possible. Like, across a border? Uh, very possible. Very possible. She made many she trips made many to trips not only, to not only um, Mexico, um, Mexico for work, for work but, also, but also um, uh, to, to uh, what, uh, where is it called? Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> You're she, fine. Made she, made many trips. she made many trips she everywhere. Many trips but everywhere. but most, most of, of them are them places are that places trafficking that is very, very um, uh, widespread. widespread. Also, also, the people she was dealing, she was dealing with oh, were involved in sex trafficking. Um, um, well, they were involved? Mm-hmm. Her... Oh, no. Her, well, well, it's such a long story, so, long I, wanted story, so I wanted to say, and as, say much as, as much as I can without, without disruption, disruption to the... the investigation, investigation. Um, but, but and, and here's and, the and thing here's it does get blue. So, so i i don't know how far you want me to go with that but it i mean there are I documents mean, there documented are, there, documented. There, are, there, are, there are documents there are documents it's sad right um, yeah it's very I, sad. I mean it's very sad like i know that there was there was talk about like the lifestyle that she led or her mental health or both, you know, is it, I, I don't know if it's alleged or if it's a fact, I don't know if it's. Her mental yeah. health mental was, health was the, first the first time that, that her ex-husband her... brought out the mental health issue um, was during their divorce and she had um, postpartum depression. She had been fine for years. What triggered any type of mental health issue was the um what was what her boss was regarding her boss and what he was having her do and sign on for all these companies um that were actually um these all the companies that she um was signed off on or she signed off on were filtering money large amounts of money through to um, the Rosemont Seneca 
um, corporation, which was involved in a tribal bond, a very, very well-known and huge tribal bond scheme involving her boss, Jason Sugarman, uh, four other people, and Hunter Biden. I mean, that's in the documents. So I'm not trying to get political. Trying to get political. Just, Hunter just, Biden? Yes. Yes. Whoa. That's what he's that's what currently, he's currently in, front in front of the, of the um, oversight um, committee. Oversight committee. Uh, uh, you know, testifying to. Testifying to. Wow. That's uh, that's pretty deep, right? It, it's so and that's, I'm that's why they pronounced her dead? I'm, uh -huh. that, well, <laughs> they pronounced her her dead because she had a $2 million life insurance policy. Usually they wait five years in California. That's her boss, that's right, her there. boss right there. Um, wow. they, wait, um, they wait. Yeah. Yeah. He is. He is. Uh, but he is, but he like, is he's like part owner of the Dodgers. Of Dodgers. Part, he, owns part, he owns the, uh, the soccer uh, soccer uh, arena, arena in, Los in Los Angeles. He 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 and his br and, and his brother and his used brother to used be executed, executed actually actually uh, chairman, uh, chairman of Bank of, of California, Bank of California, which is a huge, huge which was a huge, which bank. was a huge bank. Um, but they but they frauded, frauded a, they frauded a, a Native American, Native tribe, American 43 tribe forty three million, million dollars, dollars they stole, dollars from, their stole from their pensions Whoa. promising them, promising them to, to you know that, that you know, their that investment, their investment into, into this certain corporation, corporation which didn't actually which didn't exist. exist. Oh fortune, oh, fortune basically. basically. Wow. And they were and they all, were all So she could have easily been trafficked by so any of these people. Right? Yes. 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 Because yes. they have the power to cover things like that up. Correct. Correct. Um or the or, money too, or, I should say, yeah. And that they had yeah, to go they eliminate, had to go her, eliminate before her before it got before to, it got to the, the, uh, the, the, the before Hunter, Before Hunter Biden, Biden was, was indicted, indicted for it, indicted. Which, which she was, and she he was, was still. And he was still. Um. Hey, one second, yes. Bob. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Am what I, is? Am I? No, this is something weird in the I, chat. Don't. Weird. Don't. Someone weird in the chat. <laughs> yeah. You'll find it. I just didn't want it to be a disruptor thing going on. I got it. Sorry, I know that I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Oh no, you're, it's okay. You're not doing it that way. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not yeah. being political. I'm not. I'm not. My personal, my personal, um, political, um, political affiliation is nothing to do with anything that I research. I research every side. His name. His name is actually, is actually in, in in the the um the court case. The court case. Pardon me. The I yeah yeah i think it, that it's, it's so that's weird what though you know what i mean that's so weird to me well well they they weren't they, there they're elites his her boss was an elite um and she had met up with hunter on numerous occasions we have it documented from them um and I've worked in coordination with a group called Marco Polo, who put out the Hunter Biden laptop, who has, who have definite um, documentations, emails, you name it, between all of them. But they were about, they got busted for the travel bond scheme. So, and I, and I know from talking to family and friends that she wanted out. Uh, she had quit her, position at Camden Capital with Jason Sugarman months before she went missing and she was a liability. Um, but she also was involved with um with the trafficking issue at yeah at hand. But there are there are, the oversight committee is actually has been for the, for the last month or so interviewing um Jason Sugarman's partner, Devin Archer. Um 
and Jason Galanis, who is part of the Galanis crime family, and Hunter Biden, who refused to show up for the Senate hearing. Um, so, yeah. All she, that they stuff, they I would have been, never known any of that stuff. <laughs> like she, none of that stuff she, you just said. I think that's so crazy. Deep, and I have, and I have, yeah, 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 not crazy careful, like careful. not crazy like I don't believe it, but crazy like what in the hell? Like these people when they get power and when they get money, it's like they can just erase people. It's all about it's money. all about money. And they think that like people like Heidi, people are just gonna be like, oh yeah, she just you know she probably just took off. Who knows? Who knows about her? And then they could like make up whatever they want about her, make up their own agenda about you know the exactly, image of exactly. her and she was overdose and that originally was a story that was told to, to me and she had overdosed she at this overdosed building. building there's a sun there's article, a sun that, article I, that i you did i did i did in, in, what, bob in what bob has, has actually, has, actually, actually we'll just hold on Wait, yeah, yeah. oh did oh, you did heather heather thank you thank i'm glad you. somebody else knew yeah you're like good good yeah, it's okay, interesting. <laughs> um, um, they tried they to put tried it off and she overdosed, overdose, which is actually, which is what, actually what, I what I was told when I went down when there, went down and, there ended and ended up with concussion, concussion because somebody because hit me somebody hit on the way out. On the way out. Therefore, therefore. therefore. Oh. Oh, you got oh, it. You I just put it back there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm oh, not. Heather, sorry, I'm not too sorry. familiar with this guy's boots. Was lucky. Uh, I was lucky enough that Boots contacted me and was telling me that this this is a missing persons case that people may not know things about. And you know, we're lucky because she's kind enough to tell us all this stuff. I, I really had no idea. Well, this poor course, woman. She could be people. anywhere in the world, just being hidden. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely, she could. She could. I believe she's alive. Then now that I've heard all this. She could be being used for something awful right now, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, do I have oh, any background? background? I'm only in I'm stream only yard. Stream Hold yard. on. Let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm only yeah, in I'm stream, only yard. stream yard. Bob, do you have her stream on in the background? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Tani said, Sorry. I think, oh, oh, Boots. I thought she said Bob. I think Boots no, has her shoe no, on in the background. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, Heather. Like, she said everybody yeah, should watch the congressional yeah, I hearings, but I don't, I don't know, man. It's like it's just so much arguing, so much, you know what I mean? It's so weird. I mean, it's weird how people can't, like, come to, like, an understanding or decision <laughs> together, and we have to be, like, one side against another, you know? This seems How's weird that, that, that we're like, necessary. Are you echoing, Bob? Am I? Am I? I don't know. I don't know. That's what Tani says you're echoing. Is that is that better? Is that better? Am I not echoing, guys? Am I not? <laughs> you're not. It's oh. me, I think. It's me, I think. Oh. It's usually it's when usually we get like three people, people in here, it starts to get oh, weird. Out. weird out. I know StreamYard is like, I do not recommend this to anybody. <laughs> I thought StreamYard was the good one, but I think Streamlabs is. I don't know. Dang it. Dang How's that? How's that? Oh, that, that sounds good. That oh, I hear now. <laughs> it's like, eh, eh, eh. Oh, is it worse? Oh, is it worse? Yep. That was crazy sounding. I, that's the first time I heard it. Think. Am I still good, Jane? Ooh, yeah, someone is that going. Oh, that's me. That's worse. Oh, that's me. That's worse. How about oh, that? What is happening right now? Ah. What? No, now you're both gone? I'm the clown. I'm here. <laughs> what is I'm up? Here. Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. Am I echoing? She's still there. She's still there. Yeah, I'm 
She's back there. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me? Oh my goodness. I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else open. Here. Yeah, that's weird. I know my YouTube's not open. I have. Can you try this? Can you try this? We're going to have to figure some other streaming platform out because I'm kind of tired of it. Oh, shoot. It's really weird, yeah. What's weird about it is, like, it happens, I don't know, it happens when you do a certain amount of, like, when you put a certain amount of, like, I don't know how much megabytes or whatever that, that is, Bob, that you put on there. Do you know what I mean? How was this? For, how the, is this? for the videos. Oh, yeah. You're a little better, a little better. Yeah, you are kind of echoey, Bob. <laughs> Sounds are really, hey, there's John. Any, any better? Better? I think it sounds okay, but I don't know. I didn't hear you guys echoing before. Yeah, it echoes on the end. I don't know. But I don't know what people are hearing and what people aren't. Dill says he thinks it sounds amazing. So. <laughs> Thanks, Dill. Thanks, Dill. Thanks, Dill. Dill Hole. I hope you survived that storm really well down by you, Dill Hole. Down in Mississippi. He sent us a, a video of it before he posted it on his channel or after. I'm not sure when it was, but that was a pretty crazy storm. I heard the whole it's South crazy. got it. In Mississippi, I think, right? Right, Dill? Yeah, it was pretty trippy. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that sorry. should be better. That should be better. Do you hear any echo, guys? Hello, 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 hello. We're on echo. We're on echo. We're on echo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I can't. <laughs> headphones in. Oh, headphones in. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you guys, come on. I don't know. I'm only using one <laughs> microphone, right? what i think no Peter, i'm only on stream why is it happening bob i unplugged my mic i unplugged my mic oh. like, like everyone should back up and back in so, so what should we do hold on i'm trying to see hold on i'm trying to see if um, i can drop okay. down i can drop down stage until like like fix it, it maybe. Maybe. okay yeah, just check your, I don't know, check your sound connection things, settings. Bob, do you have any suggestions for her? She's going to back out until she figures it out. I don't know if you heard me or not. Oh, she's back there. Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Um, okay, okay. See, I can, see, I can. No, I can't actually. But... Are you getting frustrated? I know. Okay. Oh, um, hold on. Hold on. There's another missing kid now. What? Oh, wait. Okay. Watch us. I just, yeah, I just got a text from Tani, and she was saying that Kansas is asking for public help to find a missing 16 year old autistic boy, Cameron Daughtry. Da I don't know if it says Daughtry T. He's been missing since April 10th. He's 5'7", weighs 140 pounds, and was last seen on Cherry Hill Drive in Hayes. He has green eyes, wears black glasses, and has short, dirty blonde hair. But then she said he has been found. <laughs> so, it's all right. But that's another autistic kid who was missing since April 10th. And when did... Sebastian go missing. Does anybody know? Anybody in chat? Sebastian Rogers. Missing since. Looks like he was last seen February 26th. Okay. Way shorter amount of time there. But, like, okay. So this kid's February 26th, Sebastian is. And this kid's April 10th. But that's only one day. That's only one day. It's the 11th today, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I'm glad they found that kid. Do you have speakers turned on? Oh, she might. Where did she go? Boots. She, she... I don't know if you had speakers on. Yeah, that is strange, isn't it, Tani? Tani did point out that that is strange. The kid went missing um, on April 10th, and then um, he was found the next day, but they were like, they already put that out. Oh, because you know why? Because he's uh, critically missing. Because he's... Uh, um, um, because he's autistic. So if you need medication or anything for a medical reason, right, then, um, then you become critically missing. Or if you're immediate, if you're in any kind of immediate physical or mental, um, danger, they'll take you off and they'll, um, what just happened? Come on. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what's happening. But I don't know. I'm, I'm getting frustrated. Being <laughs> aired one again. One again. Like, I, I don't know. Like it's saying things that like is are not happening on my side. It's saying that like I got like triple messages. I got saying that someone was booted from chat. I don't know if she came in and came out, and that means she was booted. I don't know what's going on, but it's coming and going. Yeah. I so gotta, maybe I, gotta... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's just going to, like, if we're just going to be echoing the whole time, do you know what I mean? Then maybe we got to do it a different day. Figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know, what, what is your, what do you think? You're the one that does all that technical stuff. Uh, I, we do I, have, we do have um, plans to do a live on Thursday. I mean, this is Thursday, Saturday. So what, what I want you guys to do in the chat right now, please, we're going to go with the most, uh common for those of you that came in here there's not a lot of people in here but you guys were consistently in here please comment now in the chat with your time zone and the most popular time zone is going to be when we do your 420 we will do the saturday stream at your 420 so put your time zone in in the chat and we will accommodate that does that sound okay with you yeah sounds great do you think you just want to enter the chat? Or you should... Yeah, and I'll get a hold of Boots and see if she's available. Yeah, for we're sorry, Boots. Um, yeah, she's. I can see her, but I can't get her up. <laughs> it's fucking weird. That's, what she said. And that's not funny. That's what she said. Okay, so we got. Okay, wait, let me see. Um, Eastern, Central, Central, Eastern. Hey Bob, when do we get some paranormal stuff? Dill wants to know if you can. If you're able to get in, are you able to get in there, Bob? Are you able to come on the hello 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 um hello. bob said uh i mean dill said when do you get some paranormal stuff i don't know, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm, so. I'm trying to you guys i'm trying to um pacific Ooh, i'm trying to um get bob to do something like that at the end of the month if you guys really want us to do paranormal stuff please write paranormal in the chat because we could do it on this channel and the other channel too or just on the other channel which is shaken paranormal please please remember that um i'm gonna try to throw, gonna try to throw the link boots on one more time and if it don't work i don't know okay there she is what the fuck? oops i'm sorry sorry Sorry. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> there she is. There she is. There she is. Sweet. And if not, yeah. I can just, I can put, just in put in headphones. I think, I don't hear any. Do you hear an echo? Bob? Bob? I can hear you from here if you just want to say it. I can't hear it very good. Okay, Chad, is there an echo? Oh my God, way better, Tony says. All good. Okay, there we go. Fine. <laughs> there you go, Boots. Uh-oh, are you muted? Uh-oh. <laughs> How's that? How's that? That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. perfect, perfect. There you go. Okay, good. Now I can't even remember where we were. <laughs> We were talking about how she was possibly
trafficked by people who are in positions of power or related to people. I don't know. I mean, because I don't really follow politics. I'm not really sure. I know Hunter Biden is the son of, um, what's his name? You can literally, you can just, literally see just see him as a normal person, person in this situation, in this situation. You, know? you know, you know, because, because, because the, the, the political, the political affiliation, affiliation shouldn't, shouldn't take away, take away from, from his, actions. his actions. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't matter what what like the moral standing is on any of that. I've always felt like people in positions of power, especially political power, like there there's so much like protection for these people and so much so much lying. Like, are you serious? Really, all these people who have been presidents really never did anything wrong. That's just nuts to me. Do you know what I mean? You have to have like a squeaky clean record to do any job like president of the United States or like a surgeon general or like a secretary of defense or like you name it, any person who's in the cabinet, they all have to have some kind of squeaky clean or seemingly squeaky clean record and reputation. And that's just not possible. That's what I think, it's just not. So these people are enveloped in image and like, a, like a processed image that was made for them by other people and by propaganda and lies. And when they put themselves in a place where like, maybe, maybe she was, maybe Heidi was harmed and they needed to hide her, or maybe they needed her they needed to do services for bad people. And she's still with those bad people because without a body, how do we know that she's, she's not with us anymore? Maybe she's unable she, to communicate. Unable. That's the question. That's the question. Yeah. It's so weird that they it's just like because the case goes cold, we just say okay, dead. Like it's weird to me. Like somebody, somebody I know was murdered, and they made it a a political thing, and it really wasn't, but they did. And um, the murder was so ridiculous. It was like a middle of the day, like ring cameras all over the place no answers no no suspects and then cold case done no, like no, it's no, just no, done it's like just, we don't know so they must be that's so weird <laughs> if i was missing for two years i would hope people would you know want some kind of proof i wasn't going to be around anymore before they assumed i was not around anymore yeah, yeah and you would think, you would think that, that this high this rise, high rise which, which how is like, how is like What happened? What happened? Let's see what's going on. Um, I'm not really sure. What are you showing? I'm not sure. Hello? Hello? Ah. Hello? Hello? Hello, Bob. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. What's going on. It's fucking, oh, I did it again. <laughs> God, my mouth, you guys, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, I'm an Italian girl. And Italian women swear, and we use our hands all the time. Sucks. Sometimes the F word just flies out of my mouth. You know what I mean, Jane? You know what I'm talking about, Jane. I'm not talking about Jane, eh? Yeah. Jane, you know what I'm Jane. talking about, uh, these Italian people. What freaking sound is she, eh? Yeah. Fuck all the time. You know, I just, just say, fuck, I start a sentence with fuck, I end a sentence you know, with you fuck. They're going to report me for saying fuck. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. And fucking, what the fuck, right? Yeah, what the fuck? This is so crappy. I know. We'll just do it. Let's just do it Sunday. I mean, not Sunday, Saturday. Are you guys okay with finishing this live on Saturday? Angria, dang, she just got here. Oh man. oh man! Hey, Angria, we're having like the worst time with Streamlabs. I mean, I'm sorry, Streamyard. We're gonna probably switch on over. I don't think that does anything different. Doesn't it mean we can't like every time, every time be live, right, on like Saturday? Hours, Saturday. Hours, Saturday. Oh, oh, she said she can do it. You can do. Wait, 
You can do Saturday. Is that what you're saying? Where is she? There. She said I can do it. She's shaking her head. She's, She's shaking her head. Oh, we can see you. Like, oh, man. What the heck? <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. What does that say? YouTube does this shit when you are over the radar. Yeah, That's right. That's right. They got the feds watching, watching us, but, but yeah, they they actually do. So the feds are big. They're big sponsors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know what's interesting is that like yeah, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Tony was with the restart. <laughs> restart. Do that. Do that. I never heard of him. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I don't know who who in the chat. Put your hand up if you can come back Saturday and um listen to what Boots has to say because she very nicely was. All prepared with all kinds of information and yeah, we're just yeah. i feel like a dumbass right now it's not it's our fault <laughs> it's not our fault i don't want to i don't i don't want to have to deal with all that delay and, and, but. yeah i want you guys to have a good stream and uh okay so first before we're done here i want to thank everybody who donated and i don't remember everybody's name so did that you know what you do, do is you go, 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 go mm -hmm. into the star area. area yeah chat chat and it'll, it'll, it'll tell you everybody, tell everybody, everybody that, that uh left left money, left money. At the top, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll read them for you. Boots. Boots. Oh, go ahead, yeah. Boots left two dollars. Thank you, boots. Nice. boots. Thank you, boots. Tony left yeah. 10. Yeah. Super, sticker. Super sticker. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Uh, uh, Five five hundred nine. Left ten dollars. Super, Super sticker. Sticker. That was don't dive. You said. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm writing yep. it down, yep. guys. <laughs> then Carrie. Then Carrie left twenty. Twenty. Carrie Pinson in the rain because I don't want to. Do anything, do anything with the last name where I make myself sound like a weirdo. weirdo. Uh, don't <laughs> dive also I've left also another ten dollars sticker. sticker. What? Don't dive also, also became a member. member. Oh, thank you. Don't dive uh, for the ten and ten and I don't know which member you are, but for that too. Thank you so much. I hope that you check out the your new member perks because everybody uh, has perks. Tony. That's a member. Okay, go ahead. Tony gifted Tony a gift gifted membership, which, which, which maybe, maybe I don't dive. Ooh. I don't dive. I don't dive. Um, Thank you, Tani. And that's, and that's what, we got. what we got. Actually, and then Cyborg Mama um, donated $10 to the Venmo. And what's on your cash app? Uh, uh, 50 from Tani also. also. Uh, it was another 50, I believe. Remember, she said it was a total of 100. Did she do it twice? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Tani, did you do it twice? He's got old man eyes and he probably just can't. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He did. It is twice. Where Venmo? Um, hold on a second. This is Venmo on the screen there. We're trying to get a mask. Um and so yep, she did a hundred total. Tawny did. She is she is the home girl. You are the home girl. Plus she gifted. And yeah. Boots yeah. is the home girl. And who else is the home girl? You guys are all home girls and homeboys. Thank you so much. Whoop, whoop. Ooh, that's right. Yeah, Boots, look at you. I can see you. Whatever you're vaping back there. <laughs> She's vaping, guys. Okay, so um, to me, that looks like, so 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 170, guys. We were so close. $30 short of ordering the mask, but thank you guys so much for all your support and um, yeah. I just want to, I, I just want, like, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy, yeah. babe? Yeah. Like, like $30 from the, from a goal in one day. In one day yeah, so I don't have awesome. to ruin my, you see, Bob was like, your face is, is breaking out. Like, it is like my face is like rubber, you guys. I've done so much makeup on my face, and it it's not great to do, like, so much of it. And then the light, the lights are, like, shining on it. But it should only take three or four days once we um, order the mask for it to come. So hopefully we'll get it by next week. And it, it's a pretty cool mask. It's like, um, Bob, you've seen it, right? yeah 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 it was it's pretty much like it, we can paint it to look um more like me but i think it looked looks really feminine it looks cute there's no like blood on the mouth or anything so no. for those of you that like that i like, mean you'll look a little bit different to tone it down a little, a little. what's that 
You'll you look, look a little look different, a little but, different but, but it's it, the same. It's cute, thing. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys will see, okay? And Tani is saying to check the cash app again. Jesus. Tani, are you sending us fake money? Is this is this counterfeit? I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm scared the FBI is gonna knock on our door. I'm just gonna check send again. Back. Send the back. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm right, I'll be like, okay, then you can buy the mask. <laughs> what did she put in there? What do you guys think she's doing? Hey Heather, if you ever want to come up on um panel two, I've been I've been waiting for you to do that. Um, okay, I'm sorry roll, for putting that roll. one up. I'm sorry for putting that one up. That's who I was talking to though, Heather. Might as well do a drum roll. Drum roll. Okay, ready? Ding. 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 You have enough. You have enough. No way! Yes. Yes. We did it. We did it. We Yay. did it. We did it. We did it. We're a good community. Oh my gosh, Tani. So Tony like pretty much bought the whole thing. <laughs> it's fucking, awesome, it's fucking awesome, dude. awesome, dude. Yeah, you guys all are very, very, very amazing. Thank you so much. So we're going to be on again on Saturday. If there's anything that you want us to talk about on Saturday, I'm going to wait just a minute or two and I'm going to read the messages in chat. Okay. We're definitely, definitely. I want to, I want this out there. We're definitely going to start, start right over. Right over. With Heidi? Uh, 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 with Heidi, with Heidi, Heidi, Heidi playing Okay. Suits on well, at her convenience, day. whatever time she's able yeah, to meet. Yeah, you know, okay. Uh, yeah. We'll yeah. definitely. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start, start over, over at that on, at that, that, on that, and, and we'll, we'll definitely, definitely talk, talk more, more about more. that. And I'm sorry, sorry. Me too. Fuckery of yard, but you were very, very intelligent and. From what yeah, we were really talking to, it, it was it was very, very informative, informative, and we hope to talk to more. more. And we further apologize for the fuckery mix-up of you could put this back on, Bob. Put your mic back on for the fuckery mix-up of her giveaway winnings yeah, yeah. that we haven't yeah. sent. We're gonna send we're that gonna tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow we're tomorrow definitely we're getting that. We'll that. definitely, we'll definitely, definitely make, make, make a post, post post and let and all the other people know too that they're receiving their. Or it's in the mail. It's in the mail. Anyway. Right. It's Morgan and it's booth, that, but, and it's thirteenth hour. They are, they are packed they up are in their boxes, boxes, and I did throw a couple little extras, extras, extras uh, in, uh, in, in the box. In the boxes. So. Yeah. Worth, it'll be worth, it's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Yeah, he felt bad, <laughs> but it, it's all going to be taken care of. And if we have a hundred people in chat on um, Saturday, we will have a giveaway, and that's not to like. I'm not like, hey, not unless we get 100 people. We're trying to grow the channel, you guys. We're trying really hard to get to that 5K mark before our six months is up. It was just our goal. And it looks like we have met our goal every time we have a goal on this channel, which is incredible. But I think the last time we had a video, we had like 40, uh, what was probably 4,400 maybe subs. And now we have 4,825. So to meet that goal, we only need 175. And in the last 28 days, we have gained 1.9K subs, which is incredible. So we're hoping to go live a little longer on Saturday so that we can attract more people. So if you guys can share out the link while we're live, that would be great. I'm sorry for cutting you off, babe. I know I'm echoing my son of a gun. I just want to say, we might get five by Saturday. Saturday. That'll be exciting. That'll be exciting. Yeah, exactly. Can help with numbers Saturday if we are covering Heidi with a friend of mine. Sweet, sweet. Okay. So, Boots, you are in. I could just look it up, but I'm not going to do that to you. What is your time zone? (laughs) I'm not doing that. Um, yeah. So we're going to see what her time zone is. You're so funny, Tani. You guys look, there's there's the TikTok for strange suspicion. <laughs> um, I have that, you guys, just so you know, my I think I got the TikTok, the Twitter, and somebody was ridiculous and told me to put on an Amazon uh, wish list, and I put that up there too. Um, another creator suggested that and wouldn't stop until I put up there so whatever guys um there's stuff in the description like our email we do have the p.o box um oh yeah 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 yeah. 
I want to give a shout out to Cyborg Mama. I think you just came back in here. She's in, she's traveling, guys. So, um, yeah, she sent something to our P.O. box that was very, very, very special. And we will show you that on the video on um, Saturday. And that'll be at 420. What time zone are we going to do it? 420. Is it going to be Eastern still, Eastern, or should Eastern. we? I would think. A, I lot, would think or... a lot of people in here. If you're from the central time zone, can you put one in the chat? I'm just curious. Because the people that were, were loyal enough to be here, and I just want to, maybe if they're, you know how we did for the UK, is what I'm saying. Like, UK got their own. Let's see, if you are a central time zone, put a one in the chat. I see none of you. I mean, if anything, if anything, go wrong, go wrong. Seven. One dill dill is one dill. Do you work on Saturday? Yeah, you know, Tony, you are a star. You're a very amazing human being. One oh, okay. So dill hole is in central, and Tony is in central, and everybody else is pretty much eastern. Oh, Heather, you're available whenever. Well, I know, but you go in people, you have a lot of true crime people that you watch. So I don't know what time everybody goes on. I don't, we don't want to overshadow anybody in true crime. We don't want to take anybody away from anybody's time. That's why we try to stick with the same 420. So that like, never looks like we're trying to compete with any other channel. Cause we absolutely aren't. We just do our own thing. I, and I hope you guys are enjoying the, um, intros. We don't really talk about that because Bob is very, um, humble, but do you guys have any um thoughts about the what would you call that bob are you are you still able to talk on here <laughs> every time, yeah, every time yeah. okay what well, do, do you have a uh a, a name for that cartoon series you're making not sure not yet. sure yet okay well just so you guys just so you guys know norman when you watch this later that is an easter egg right bob it, of sorts Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, but the intros, the the cartoon um, intro. If you guys, someone asked me once what an Easter egg is. It's pretty much something that is in the video that like has a. Is it a different meaning? I would say, or like a different symbol, symbolic, whatever. So those people may or may not. Uh, what what am I trying to say, Bob? People may or may not. I don't. Know. I don't know. Um, resemble or remind you of other people oh, yeah, in actual, well, in well, actual well, real life. Now you're just now like, you're just like slam the cards right out. Right out. Oh, I, I don't think they start. get it though. I don't think they're the following what the I'm shark. saying. Seems like they're having like conversations about. No, I don't remember. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so I see what they're talking about. Um. Yeah, Tani. Tani is uh. She's a one-handed gamer queen, in case anybody didn't know. Tani, it, you wouldn't know it. <laughs> she's like, she's an incredible mod. She's she's just as um, she, able to do she, almost she every fast, fucking thing mods, in the world. Huh? She types she faster, types faster than, than both of than, us. Both of us. <laughs> she's like, you, you're like, Tani, you're like the strongest person that I know. And just so you guys know, Tani, not only is she an amazing gamer and an amazing mod and an amazing person and an amazing inspiration for what you've been through, Tani, but you're you're an incredible person and you're you're just so inspirational to me. You have no idea. Like you just you got no no kill button. I guess I I don't know if that's the right thing. I don't not not a kill button, but you got no you got no stop button. Like you're incredible. You're a very very right. incredible person. And she also has a channel. You guys didn't know Tani does have a YouTube. She also has a um, TikTok, and I'm sure she has a lot of things. Like I don't know, is you, I don't know what social media you all have, but yeah. See, I've got more gamers in their boots. Yeah, boots. You should check her out. She's a Tani's pretty incredible. I I, I, heard, I heard through the grapevine of the chat that she's got, got big old boobs or, or something like that. I don't know. 
I didn't see him. I didn't see him. I heard her service. Are you talking about somebody's boobs right now? I heard she had she big old boobs. You said it. Oh, okay. Okay. Here it is. Here it is, guys. And on TikTok, you guys check out her TikTok. This is her TikTok. Tinker fucking bell. Makes you think of a. Tinker fucking bell. It sounds like bubbles. Tinker fucking bell. Hey. hey. What's the name of that show? Trailer Park trailer Boys. Park yeah, Boys. Trailer Park Boys. He's like fucking, right? Yeah. 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 Bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. Tinker bell. bell. You're freaking fucking kidding. Tinker fucking bell. Yeah. You had kidneys? Yeah, okay. So everybody's talking about boobs now. Come on, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I, I, Come on. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. Let's figure out. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is we're going to want you guys to please, please don't be scared. If Boots was able to talk to you, she would tell you they were not scary. We'll let you talk and we'll listen and we won't cut you off and all that stuff. And we will not let you go unlistened to. I'll tell you that, Boots. We want to hear what you have to say. Um, but, okay, so she is available on Saturday because I see her smiling. I see that that's what she's, she's shaking her head. Yes, guys, if you could see her, she's like thumbs up and all. She's like, woohoo, I'm going to be there. So we're going to do, what is your time zone, Boots? That's how we'll do it. She said it's all good. She's all good. Which is always available for Heidi. You're Pacific. Okay. Pacific. 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 I don't mean to be Pacific. Pacific. <laughs> so she, are you available at any time? Is that what she said? Boots true crime. Yes, I try to tell people about hearings and people. Oh, look at you guys are buddies now. Hey, look at Heather and Boots. True crime buddies. That's cool. You guys should get a hold of each other. But yeah, if you want, you should, I can get Pia to share my info with you. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yep, true, true. Yeah, Boots has my email. So Boots, you email me and I will get you in touch with Heather. And then as far as our next stream, Bob, you, you want 420 Eastern? Bob? Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah, sorry. 4.20 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. So is that, so is that, what, you're is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, Tani. Yes, you did. Um, okay, so listen, please, guys. Saturday at 4.20, we're going to try to do a stream where you guys come on panel. If you want to come on panel, you could do it spontaneously during the live or if you want to discuss something before that with me like boots did you can go ahead and um email us i'll put the email on the screen unless one of our mods has it handy um it's it's right here so there's our email if you have something you want us to talk about on saturday um okay yeah so jane 4 20 eastern is 9 20 your time um if you want to be on panel and you want to discuss something that um you want us to know about ahead of time so we got it kind of heads up and we can you know kind of discuss it together or whatever you need to do you can email email us or if you want to email us for any reason that's cool if you want to send anything to the p.o box for us to read on on uh live or whatever you want to do that's great um I have no idea what to say. Just that we will see you Friday at, and not Friday, Saturday at 4.20 p.m. Eastern. I think that Dill said he can make it. Jane said they can make it. Tani, I don't know if you'll be here. Heather, I hope to see you. Boots has got her thumb up. She's going to be here. So we'll have the thumbnail up for you guys. I get the one minute warning. We got the thumbnail up for you guys. And uh, as soon as we can get it up so you guys can share it out. And then if you guys... um can get a hundred people in here by set on Saturday. I will have a large, large painting to give away. It's large and it is, um, I wish I could show it, Bob. I'll show it in the stream on Saturday, but it is, uh, pretty large. Actually, Do you actually, know the size of it? 
Take a picture Take of a it. Take a picture of it in the community post. post. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can do that, guys. I will put it in the community post. Please, please watch that community post. It helps with the our spot in the algorithm and helps us get promoted out so you guys don't have to be bothered to push the share button all the time. But we really do appreciate you pushing the share button and you guys being so polite to one another in the chat. We will see you on Saturday at 420. Take care and please, please consider being on panel on Saturday. I want to talk with you and not at you. Got anything left, Bob? Bob? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, sorry. I'm here. Sorry. Whoa, it's okay. Whoa. It's all right. I don't know if you I'll just uh, uh, play some jams, play some out. jams out. Okay, play some jams for a few minutes. See if they got anything they want to talk about in chat real quick. Go ahead. Thanks, guys.